Uh, let's do our uh, top ten list. Here we go tonight uh, from the home office in uh, Oklahoma City. Uh, it's a good category for a Friday night. Top ten least popular little rascals. Ah. Remember the old Argan, Argan comedies? Of course. Here we have a listing of the top ten least popular. Least popular. Least popular. Here we go. Number ten. Bulgy. Number nine. Velveeta. Number eight. Uh, Jim, the body oil enthusiast. Number seven. Gaddafi. Number six. Darla's creepy stepbrother with the flaming skull tattoo. Number five. Mookie. Number four. Lee Harvey. Number three. Number three. Seymour Pearlstein. Clubhouse CPA. Number... Number two, Pantless Pedro, and the number one least popular little rascal, Crazy the Unpredictably Vicious Dog. <laughs> it's uh, viewer mail night, and uh, Kevin Costner is here. And uh, uh, also exotic poultry and uh, Tom Tom Club. Let's do the viewer mail. Actual letters from actual viewers all over the United States, right here. Letter number one. Dear Dave, uh, what would you do if you had to spend an entire day with a giant? Uh, just to win a whim, a John Hildebrand, Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Well, uh, good question, John. You know, I do spend each day with a giant, a musical giant, Mr. Paul Schaefer, right over there. Paul. I gotta say thank you, thank you so much. Uh -huh, sure. And I, I, I want to thank you for something else too. I, I have to admit, I thought you were gonna do some some stupid skit about with a real giant, a guy in a oh. dream. But thank <laughs> yeah, you. For I, I can understand how you might get that impression, but believe me, we have grown way beyond that kind of juvenile, silly nonsense. So we won't be doing any of that. Damn. Damn. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank God for the exotic poultry. Dear Dave, uh, knowing you to be a connoisseur of the finer things in life, the House of Cartier would like to invite you to a private dinner at La Bernadin in the New York City at 8 p.m. on Thursday, May 4th. Sincerely, uh, Pierre Yves, Vice President Cartier, New York, New York. Well, Pierre, uh, I am indeed a connoisseur of the finer things in life. The finest clothing, the finest cigars, and of course, the finest malt liquor. <laughs> Colt 35. Did I forget something? Oh, yes. The finest women. Hello, baby. <laughs> I was just talking about you. Colt 45. Dear Mr. Letterman, uh, three begins. Uh, how about this for your epitaph? Uh, I'm sorry you had to see that. Dave Eirich, Highland, Maryland. Well, you know, that's, that's kind of a cute idea, but, you know, I really haven't ever given any uh, thought to uh, what oh, my epitaph would be. Oh, you know what, Dave? What, Paul? I've, been, I've given a little thought, and I have a suggestion. What's that? How about David Letterman, as a performer, one of a kind, right. as a man, one of the kindest? What do you think about uh, that? It's, it's, it's a little... I don't, it's a little... A little too so busy. A little, you know. Dave. Yes, Sid. Yeah, I've been working on this sketch of how your tombstone might look. Yeah. Uh, David Letterman, 1947 to 1990. Rest right. in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. That's kind of a cliche. Thanks anyway, though, Sid. Uh, Dave. Yeah, Anton. Um, I've made several scale models of your tombstone. Uh, David Letterman. He lies un unmourned. Yeah. David Letterman, next stop, hell. Right. David Letterman, what a sorry bastard. Yeah. Well, and if, if you don't like any of these, I've got dozens more at home. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it seems to me that you guys, uh, really, this is kind of uh, picturing me dead. is sort of like a hobby for the band here. Right? Well, it's more like an obsession. Ah. 
<laughs> Exotic poultry. Did I mention that? <coughs> yeah. Uh, dear Dave, how do you get away with some of those things you say? Curious here. Uh, Carol the Tarp uh, Trap Hagen, Denver, Colorado. P.S. I included my address. I uh, like there's a chance in hell you'll ever write back with your answer. Uh, you know what I'm going to do just to prove you wrong, Carol? I'm going to write you a letter right here. I have the stationery, and I'll begin it right now. Dear Carol, thank you so terribly much. He's actually writing her a letter. This could take forever. Lovely, hmm. thoughtful. Gee, the Yankees are playing. And if I hurry, I can get there by the third inning. Ah. You know, my son in the hospital would love to have that baseball. Well, I'd like to give it to him personally. Wow! Late Night TV's Paul Schaefer! Hey, Tiger. How you feeling? I've got a ball for you here, but you've got to promise me to get well. And if you do, I'll come to your high school graduation. I promise. Thanks for coming to my high school graduation, Paul. Well, I wanted to make sure all those savings bonds I gave you were put to good use. And there's an orange Camaro over there with your name on it. Wow! Oh, gee, I gotta get back. Hope you enjoyed the exotic poultry on tonight's show. Gotta go, your friend Dave. You know, Paul, you ought to do that sometime, right? Take a, a little moment out and, and write a letter to uh, somebody who watches the show. Yeah, I guess I should. I guess I'm just selfish. I probably never, <clears throat> never do a thing like that. <laughs> I should really do yes, something really like should. that, but I probably will never do. That concludes our viewer mail. Coming up next, Kevin Costner, ladies and gentlemen. Come on back.